Howdy everyone, welcome to a new series called Red Dead Redemption where we are going to be playing as, well, hey everyone, hey, as, well, his name is James, James Marston, is that what his name is? I haven't played this game at all, it's going to be our first time. Hey Far Cry Lego, I see you, yo, what's up? It's good to have you here as always, and it's good to have somebody on Twitch as well. Because as, as you guys know, we're simulcasting and we already have two other people on Twitch, which is great. And some two people here, which is awesome. Great. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting getting to play it. John Marston. There we go. I, I knew it was a J. It's just I didn't know which one it was. But yeah, if uh, you're here, you can always leave a like. Leave a like. And hey, Moodcap. Hey, yeah, everyone is correcting me now. Of course, an amazing start. So tell me, how how is everyone here, by the way? Uh, anything interesting? Because uh, it's been a while. I gotta say, it's been a while. We've, pl we've played, the last game we've played was like Doom. And that was like uh, before Easter. So it's been a while. And I don't know, a lot of stuff has probably happened. And Easter was a pretty big deal for me, of course. And it was nice to get like a, a break for myself at least. Because, you know... It's, it's just always nice to take a breather and to figure everything out and to kind of reflect on life. It's been okay, bro, says Far Cry Lego. Yeah, I guess it has been okay. And, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, since we have the game up, I guess. So t today is what we're going to do. Uh, here's what we're going to do today. Uh, obviously, I want to focus more on the game itself because usually we kind of do like a half and half where it's kind of a bit of playing the game mixed with not playing the game which is kind of like uh the commentary stuff of everything going on we're still going to have we're still going to do that today uh but uh i kind of want to play more of the game today hopefully that's what's going to happen why because i figured that i think red dead redemption is supposed to be more story heavy and therefore i do think that it's uh is going to well f one it's a longer game than any other one we've been playing so far so i think it's in general it's going to be a good idea to kind of play it for and you know give it more of my time so that it isn't just like uh an hour or hour and a half it's not like doom where you can kind of uh like where each level is kind of like a half hour long maybe not even especially if you're a veteran it probably takes like 10 minutes to beat for those who already play those games but with red dead redemption and all those open world games you guys know how it is you guys know i don't have to tell you uh, so yeah that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to be playing it more and it's a story a story driven game as well so at least i think so the sequel definitely was and I'm curious to see how this one progresses. And yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, I've been playing some modded Fallout 4. So I can make make it into Fallout 4. Wait, what? Don't you mean Fallout New Vegas? Because you have been sending me those uh, screenshots. Farka Lego has been uh, sending me screenshots from his game. Where he's, he's implemented like... I think like over 200 mods into the game into Fallout 4 to try to make it more playable and by more playable he means make it more like uh make it more like New Vegas which is hilarious and I think it's way more than 200 uh so yeah uh if let's see let's just get into it let's not prolong this any longer and let me just take a look at the volume of the game because right now it's very quiet so the question is do we go normal mode or hardcore mode this is the goatee edition i have the goatee version which came the game uh comes with a map inside that's crazy so there's going to be a map in the game that we, we're going to be using but you know i got the physical edition of course and it's got a map of the open world which is crazy because when i bought red dead redemption 2 it also had a map of the open world inside which is kind of cool uh, that you can kind of have it with you. And I think I'm going to go uh, normal because the original game when it came out was also normal. And yes, we're playing on the PlayStation 3 for those who are wondering. And so we're going to be keeping to that. We're going to be playing the normal version of the game. 
and uh, and if it gets boring or if it's if it becomes too easy for me, then we can always change it to hardcore. Um, because that's that's what I've read online. It's like, hey, which one should I go with? And there's a consensus that you should go with normal, because that's that's the original version of the game. But then if you know, think that it's that it becomes too easy, just uh, go for. You can apparently change it midway through the game, which is nice. Okay, uh, in that case, let's go normal. And let's begin this uh, story. And the loading times in this are, from what I've seen, are um, way longer. So I don't know what the story of this game is so far. Exodus in America. I also searched up quickly what the year of the game is. And apparently it's 1911. So it's, I thought it was going to be like the 19th century. But no, it's it's almost the end of the American frontier, which uh, is happening during, during the decline. Nice. Okay, there's uh, John, John Marston, and <laughs> pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> nice music. Rockstar Games presents. We're getting a cinematic opening already. Broads walking on the right. A nice your comments. We'll read those when we get into the game. A rock, a rock star San Diego production. That's interesting. Blackwater Station. Okay. I wonder what we're doing here so far. Because uh, so far everyone's pretty quiet. And not saying much. <laughs> the whistle. Nice. Red Dead Redemption. Wow, wow. The game is suspiciously quiet to a point where it's it's not making me uncomfortable, but it's like, come on guys, say something. Well, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. She sounds like a man. More, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've <laughs> lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Facts? True? You can't argue with facts. But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Yes. No, what I mean to Tell say her how it is. Is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. There you go. Yes, they live <laughs> like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Are they? I think they're trying to criticize her right now, like criticize religion and criticize natives. If so, if not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes, his family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. 
Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. So she said John, but she was not talking what about you us, remember, right? Remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. She's so stupid. I find What's so difficult to get? To make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. Can you but specify? You ask me if you need help. Specify, well, woman. Are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. Oh, here we go. Here we are, the Amadildo station. Go to the saloon. Is this the one? I it's not. Okay. The frame rate is as you would expect it to be. Which is probably some of you are probably wondering why aren't you not playing the one and what well it came out on PlayStation 4 and it came out on on what else did it come out on? on the switch you know it's like hey why don't you just play it on that but i'm like i if i can play it on the original one the original platforms i would rather do that even though the performance may not be better can i punch him oh i can't so uh yeah i think they were going for like a slide down nice i think they were going for like a criticism of uh of course americanism of america I think that's clearly what they're trying to entail here. But who knows, I might be wrong, but uh end of like I guess racism, I don't know. They That girl was not giving any sort of honest uh like there was two left feet today. Can I put on subtitles? Hold on. Uh tell me if you can find the subtitles in this game options. That's for the configurations. Audio, there we go. Headphones, what? Yeah. That's what we want. Okay. Display, brightness, contrast, saturation. Uh, subtitles, there we go. There they are. That way you guys can see everything. Awesome. Including what they say sometimes so that I don't talk over them when occasionally it happens. Let's read your... Uh, what you wrote in the chat, but I think I find this pretty saving, dude. I'm just turning on the subtitles. Calm down, okay? I can't do anything, okay? And we're back. Good. Um, uh, Moodcap says that he bought a new game on Steam. Is that so? Oh, okay. Here we are, and the saloon is right here. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty excited to play this. Hey, you black man. Uh, or at least what I'm uh. Allowed to say in, in 2024, <laughs> Blackman is probably the the best I can get away with. Probably the worst, technically. And this guy is uh doing what you would expect him to do. Which is come out drunk out of the saloon. Okay, good. Which games did you buy, Moodcap? Share with us. Oh, they know me, okay. So... That's good. That lady, though, you must she be John is. Marshall. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. Hmm. His I got voice. the horses saddled up and ready out front. Sweet horses. I did not expect him to sound like that. Dun, 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 dun. Oh gosh, these ladies. You really gotta follow Jake to the horses. Sure, let's do that. L let us know what games you got, because uh, I'm really curious. You know the Steam sales. I know that once you get them. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. 
There we go. Once you kind of yeah. like get started yeah. with the whole Steam sale stuff, it's really difficult not to Take not to buy anything. Hitch. No Move your horse. Okay. If I press X, he doesn't go any faster. To spur your horse, move faster, tap, and you hold your horse will maintain its speed. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um, now that guy's not keeping up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What is going on? Oh gosh. Stop. Stop. How do I stop this horse? I wanted to stop with the other guy. Show... Koala Springs. I was gonna say Koala Springs. Where is this guy now? He's in the blue, right? When galloping, you can get a short burst of extra speed by tapping X. This will temporarily reduce your horse's stamina, and if you spur too much, your horse may try to buck you off. Oh! It's represented by the bar on the left of your radar. I see it. Okay. Uh, but where is this guy? Where is this guy? We lost him already. Uh, friend. Okay, and it says on the map, so let's uh. Why is he over there? Oh, he was waiting for the train, and we just went without it. Okay. Let's see if I can. Why is he running so fast? Let's just enjoy the ride. Yes, agreed. I'm just holding the button and I don't I don't want him to <laughs> Look at this animation. It looks kinda of funny, not gonna lie. I want to slow this horse down. And it's like there's no in between. I'm pretty sure there is, but calm down, calm down. Oh gosh, he's going too fast. Yeah, this is uh Okay, tap. Okay, and if I don't use it. Tap. Okay, there we go. And no, he's just going too fast. Okay, I think now he's kind of... There we go. We found it. Uh, let's see. They are story heavy games, says Far Cry Lego. I'm scrolling in the chat right now, hopefully. Oh, sweet. It's kind of driving on its own. You look like a man I mean, you Vegas. Mind, Mr. Marston, so I won't bother you none with my chatter. It's now at 265 again. When it comes, oh, you're talking about how many mods you have. You, you used to have a lot of them. Like, uh, I thought that you you hit like 300 at one point, but it's probably like your PC couldn't take it at once. Okay, it takes uh, pl places four years after the epilogue to Red Dead Redemption 2. Interesting. And 12 years after the main story. I don't know if that's a spoiler because uh, of the time displacement. It it's not really. The Mercer Station. And after 12, it's a crime that the sequel didn't include an Undead Nightmare-esque expansion. Yeah, I have the Undead expansion as well. And I, I believe that has a story of its own. So if we're done with this thing, you know, we're definitely going to play the Undead. And here's the th cool thing about this. I'm just holding the X button right now. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to track him by himself. I was going to praise it for kind of doing it automatically so that would allow me to read the chat more easier. Uh, but I guess not. We got to do both at the same time. Damn coyote. Hold what a waste of circle to focus on important people, places, and events. Okay. Look at carcass. Uh, yeah, it's, it is weird, but I think uh, the thing about that is like... Listen, Box. mister. Okay, hold on. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rolled in and took the place over. The audio is pretty interesting. So I understand. As in it sounds... This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> His audio lines sound... <laughs> weird. Like they're very low quality. Okay, approach Fort Mercer. Yeah. Oh, tumbleweed. Nice. All right. Uh, yeah, let's read this. Yeah, the thing about... Okay, hold on. I'll get back to the Undead Nightmare comment. As well as GTA 4 style DLCs for GTA. I'm still pissed about that. Okay, so... Yeah, so the Undead Nightmare. 
I'm pretty sure that everyone who's worked at Rockstar, you know, it's been eight, what, eight years since the first game? Like, the first game came out in 2010, then Red Dead Redemption 2 came out in 2002, so a lot of the people moved on. And as we saw after Red Dead Redemption 2, a lot of people left Rockstar after the fact, so... And a lot of Bill, activists came you. in. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you! Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill! You Hands must up. think I was born yesterday! You always did think I was an idiot! That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Who's... Who's... Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. That's not a fancy word. <laughs> I guess depending on what your well, things are different education now, is. John. Education now level. I'm in charge. Of what? This place looks like a wreck. No more Dutch. And no more you. No more Dutch. Is that a character? I I implore <laughs> you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next I time. I just taught you a new word, dude. You should have a bit more respect. Well. Oh. oh. Damn. <laughs> Poor Jim. Is John half native? Because I noticed the feather in his cap. Is is that the thing? Is that what they were going for in the beginning? Because he has like a feather in his cowboy hat. And that's interesting. That makes me think that he's like almost like a half native, half American. So who's trying to quote, quote unquote kill them? Hmm. I'm like totally confused as to what's going on right now. And I know that there pro were probably hints in the very beginning as to what is happening. But now with the whole Bill, Bill Williams and stuff, I am sort of unsure of who this guy is. New friends, old problems. Good, saving. Since there are, there are longer loading times in this game, let's read the rest of the comments. Let's c catch up. So... Run it at a higher frame rate. You could use RCPS3, which is the emulator for PlayStation 3 games, and run it at a higher frame rate. But you need a good PC for that to happen. Yes, plus, like, from what I've heard, there is some issues with, like, the emulation, and it's not, like, perfect. And for somebody like me, who's, like, a very big casual, it can be a problem. Oh, I'm going to get to what Moodcap got us, got himself. Who is this lady here? Well, you're alive. Well, yeah. So I'm the main character. So, how do you feel? And Hosky's on Twitch. Hey. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Okay. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. So he was a bandit. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? 
dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> yeah, they did leave Hoske, Sag. The other people who were watching on Twitch. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life. Evening, Sir Dietzel. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, I'll give you guys a recap if, in case you like missed the beginning or or if you're gone for 15 minutes because I see Parker and Legos who said that uh, Join Bonnie. Cool, the door opened. Uh, she, uh, Parker and Legos said that Oh gosh, uh, that he's going to be gone for 15 minutes. Use L to walk around. Use R to look around. Thank you for telling us this just now. Uh, but yeah, we basically the game started off with us coming to this country or this at least this region which uh, you can see on the map is here and let's see how do you zoom out r2 l2 uh yeah so this is where we started and this is where we are now and we're here in this place for the first time we came by train and we overheard a conversation uh of these two older ladies talking about how like there's going to be an election happening and then with the election, uh, that they want to secure the votes for whoever's going to be running. And there's this other family that's running, and they're going to have a problem with it. And uh, and then we overheard a priest talking to a woman, a, a I guess a younger woman. Uh, how do we get off? There we go. Triangle. And he was basically, tr it was a father uh, trying to tell her, a priest telling her that, yeah, the good guys, we're the good guys, Mr. and the Marston, natives are the bad guys. We've got to bring civilization. And that was pretty much it. I that $15. Well, oh, no yeah, and... Uh, the are saddled up over here. And we got shot by this uh, bandit guy named Bill Will Williamson. William Williamson. Uh, who we were supposed to be working with, but we don't know exactly why. Hold... There's the foreman's office. Point, point, point. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. <laughs> I picked out a fine horse for you. Yeah. Thank Come you, Miss. On. Time for you to see what a real. And this woman like. basically came and pick up, picked us up along with some other guy as well. And that's the beginning uh, of this series so far. So, and if you need to. Kind of see everything for yourself you can always go back the streams will be saved on youtube not twitch because twitch is i don't want to say an awful platform to your right is the general store you won't find parisian high fashion but it's good for the essentials very convenient i don't think i've ever seen a ranch with its own store before but it is a pain so let's see uh mooncap got and here's the corral this one's for the horses what do you think? I'm keep no expert, talking. but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's just what's gonna happen with these games. Horses, That's horses. That's train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Okay. Change is only good when it makes things better. Yeah, but sometimes you don't know when it's going to make things better, that, so... That's the tricky part. You can only predict and estimate. Go off of history sometimes, That's but... the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Well, thank you for the detour. I'm not saying this uh, to be... Like, uh... And here we thing. are, back at the house. For a while before we head out on patrol. She's just showing me no around. From me, Which is McFarland. good. We want to know where we are. Ride your horse to the hitching post. 
How'd she get a red horse? That's a good question. I guess it's not like red. It's I think they're going for like a brown one. It's brown and then has a white ass. Shut up, horse. Horset. Where did she go? So, Moodcap. Lady, I'm right here. Shut up. <laughs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. She's into me. I'm Good telling you guys. The horse seems to take it out She's of constantly <laughs> bickering and telling me to come here, sure. even though I'm right come behind her. And then now I'll she's inviting me to tea. Sit for a while. Thank you. Give me a sip, lady. She is definitely into me. And so, uh. They're going to talk about stuff. Goodness. Mr. Marston, so many cuts Ms. McFarland. Scenes. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Come on, then. Let's nice. mount up and take a look around. We just did this, lady. We just... Oh, look. He's running around and he's holding his wound. Get it? Because he's, uh... He's hurting. That's pretty cool. Attention to detail. <laughs> Although that run is pretty weird. Gotta say, the way he moves his feet. Although, in, the, in those boots, I guess it makes sense. Right. She just Follow asked me. you out. Peeled, yeah, to suspicious. patrol. What are you thinking? Sir Dietzel, it's not anything like, it's not supposed to be serious. We just met, and Thank she asked you, me Mr. before. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. Oh, okay. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Oh. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Okay there, miss, calm down. Can we go faster? Okay, no? Okay, that's fine. So, Mooncap, before they interrupt us, you got Dead Space 3. Classic Battlefront, not the collection. Good, because that game is broken, which Look I was very disappointed about. The crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Oh my goodness, she constantly wants something. We're constantly doing the same Let's thing over and over. I want a couple of these for the Can I use my weapon? Oh! L2 to aim. Oh! We're killing rabbits? Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> and I'm missing them. How, how amazing am I? Let's kill my Oh, oh Beautiful. We're gonna have some stuff for dinner now. Yeah, the rabbits are pretty pesky. Shooting rabbits. Uh, what, what a first date. Yeah, it's very romantic. Uh, what did she tell us to do? I forgot. Oh, uh, whatever. She's going to tell us, definitely. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground. There you go. She loves the app. The Battlefront Collection. I'm very disappointed. I wanted to play the games for the first time. And I was... Oh, my gosh. Woman, shut up. living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. I hope they become do not become anything serious. If I wanted a movie game, I would play Metal Gear Saga. Is that a movie game? Seriously? Can we shoot this? Oh, oh hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta say, I'm using the the cheaper version of the controller again because that's the one that vibrates. And the aiming on this is awful. I might have to change to Dual Shock on, 4 again. Because my Dual Shock 3 is kind of a. Uh, it drifts, I think. So that's Damn why I'm coyotes, not using it. We can't afford to lose any more lives. Let's go. Kill him, Mr. Marston. Yeah, you're gonna watch me. The aiming on this is going to be awful. Let's go. go. At least the music's awesome. Can we change weapons? No, we can't. Okay, whatever. Oh. Oh crap, what happened? 
the horses are. Two out of six, dude. Jump. There we go. What is this? Oh, dang. No. Dang it. I got blocked by myself. We're chasing them down. This is not... Let's go! Not as easy as it looks. The aiming is actually somewhat difficult because it's just one hot thought. Okay, they're telling us to go back. Exterminate the coyotes. Yeah, Come sorry on. about that. I'll show you the way to your room. We let them get into the hen house. Is that what we did? You know, you can actually handle a rifle. <laughs> it's something I've had a little experience <laughs> Okay, in. lady. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into you it. Used dead eye. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. How do I don't think I've forgotten what, what brought you it? here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. What is that sound? Here we are. You, if you get separated from your horse, it will return to the hitching post outside of your house. Good to know. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see <laughs> you in the morning. Kind of? Good night, Miss McFarland. Miss McFarland? Any relation to Todd? To save your game. Okay. Hosky on Twitch. Dead Eye should be for the second game, if I'm not mistaken. Question mark says Hosky on Twitch. So, yeah. Uh, current Dead Eye level, one out of three. I guess not. Whatever that means. General stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory allow you to buy new weapons, restock on ammunition. Or purchase potent potent whatever that was the same people even deal in valuable information around the surroundings in the form of maps or newspapers sure let's save uh no save file present are you sure you want to save your current progression in this slot yes and you said also you got knights of the old republic too that's nice uh, so, that's interesting. So, Classic Battlefront 1. You can get that on Steam right now without the Classic Edition. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. Open container. What's in the container? Revolver ammo. How can we check ammo and stuff? 7 out of 93. Is that it? Oh, we got our Handelman revolver. Good. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Calm down. If you threaten someone with your gun or knife, you can rob him. What's happening? What did we just do? Oh, he's running away. I have no idea what we just did. But let's not get in trouble just yet. And now what? Dead Space 3 is a good game to have. I have the entire Dead Space trilogy on for PlayStation 3 that I have still not played. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting if you can get the classic Battlefront games. Let's see what our current objective is. Do we have one? Money is a no-go here. We have zero dollars. How can I put this down? Oh. There we go. Oh. How do we do that? Okay, we are doing an amazing job so far. Now, what do we do?
So we have the War Horse, whatever this is. Info. Special Dark Brown Horse with a Light Mane, faster and stronger than normal. And some other provision stuff. So yeah, uh, the program for today is to play mostly this game. And then at the end, we're going to be watching clips from X-Men 97. And at the very end, we're going to be watching the Miles Morales short film that came out not long ago. We're going to be doing that because uh, we're saving that till the end because we don't want to get copyright struck. Obstacles in our path. Are we supposed to visit the other areas? Oh, is Mr. That it? Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. Far Cry Lego says that you it know, was in both games. tell me how you met that Bill Williamson. There we go. We get what to find you out. What from him. No the guy who shot us. Not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Just tell her. No one cares if she dies. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. I have to go to the green dot, says Sir Dietzel. That's a good uh, All right, form I'll of advice. Alright, I'll how we ride round these parts. Round these parts. Sorry. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> go to race start. Okay. Uh, in the meantime. Metal Gear is known for stealth and lore. That's what I thought, but the whole story thing, that's a movie game. I never thought of it as a movie game until the fourth one, which I hear is infamously, like, uh, known to be overtly long with its cutscenes, let's just put it that way. I know it because I played the games. I know you did. Of course you did. You played every single game, I think. Uh, yes, Todd is a descendant of hers. Well, he does, she does look kind of, uh, similar to him, except On for the, the blonde hair three. and the skin three. color. Two, oh gosh, oh gosh. One, go. What's the finish line? I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman this about way. this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Come on, we yeah. gotta do this. It's gonna be so embarrassing. By plumes? Okay. Oh no, we're already losing stamina. Let's I think go. you chose the wrong horse, Miss McFarland. Where's yeah. the finish line? I just need to know where the finish line is. Would you like me to slow down? Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Should so I well. wait for you to catch up? Now what? Yep. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Wait, what? On, Are you saving the best for last? Okay, good. We gotta be careful because if we are not careful, come on. And hold Try to keep up, okay. will you? I just need to know where the finish line is. You'll have to do better than. Come on! Let's go! You're not as bad as I thought you'd be! I just hate not knowing where I'm going. See you at the finish line! Mine, 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 mine. Mine. Where's the finish line? This sure beats milk and cows! I'm so... Watch and learn, miss! What's going on? Where is the finish line? Give me the finish line. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Good God! Ah, oh, we were not paying attention. There we go. And this Let's is go. how we lose. This is how. Can we do shortcuts? Let's do shortcuts. Ah, oh, 
if we recover from this, it's gonna be... Oh no, the finish line, where is it? Where is the finish line? I just need to know where the finish line is. Lady. I thought you said you could run! That's more like it! That's it? Oh, you failed. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, that was awful. That was awful. <laughs> Sir Dietzel is laughing at me. Skip this three. garbage. I am already finished with this Two, game. I am never one. playing this game ever again after this. It's Go. the last time we're playing this stuff this. because this was uncalled for. She pushed me off the horse. You guys saw that? I'm no longer reading the chat, guys. It was your fault. I was looking at the chat. And when galloping, you can... Okay, this I'm not reading that garbage. Close. It's gonna distract Come me on, again. Boy. Okay, we got this. Oh, don't, don't. The it's gonna be hilarious if, we never if we're never able to finish this game because of... You're lucky I'm being a gentleman. Because of this one mission, on. that'd be hilarious. Not for not for you guys though. <laughs> oh gosh, red. Come on. Where is the finish line though? That's what I need to know. How's it feel getting beat by a lady? Excuse me. I'm gonna stay behind her. Come on, Mr. Let her show me the way, and then at the very end, speed up like that. Don't go easy on me. Isn't this jolly? It's very jolly. Come on, yeah. boy. Call yourself a dangerous outlaw? Yeah. Where is the finish line? I mean, clearly now it's over, but how did he know when to stop? I guess it was supposed that to be till the, till, till the town sure. was a giant circle. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help <laughs> you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McCall. Sounds like a skill issue. You do whatever you no. think's best, Mr. Marshall. You guys saw it. She pushed me off. Women are obviously better at riding horses. I think this proves it. Says Sir Dietzel. Hoske. I am Skibbity. Oh, that's not Hoske. I am Skibbity. I shall... Something. Says, uh... Loonkiss93. Do you, uh... Do... Oh, it's over. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. How are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? Again? I get some supplies and I could do with the This company. woman constantly wants our you attention. Can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> or beaten by a woman. Huh. Take the reins, that wouldn't happen, right guys? That would never happen around these parts. Get a weapon or approach the driver's seat. Hold on, uh, are the other stores open? Is that what I want? That's what I want to know. 
Hosuke, now you know what other person was going to watch us. Uh, no, I guess everything is closed. Show filter. Mini games, jobs, shops. Everything is on. So I guess they just want us to kind of get the game going. All right. Get to... Uh, what exactly sure. are you waiting for? Uh, I'm just kind of roaming around looking at you. If you don't mind, I'd really like to get moving. Yeah, go ahead. You're looking much better considering you were almost buzzard food a couple <laughs> days ago. <laughs> I have you to thank for that. These course sequences. So just tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you again. I wouldn't bet on it. She oh, wants to be. Hope, Mr. Marston. You, can't you be want to make me a mod, says Hosky on Twitch. <laughs> not yet, not yet. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say Can I we crash into you. them? I can't always say I do either. Don't be so <laughs> enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, oh. you are. You are being deliberately Poor people. as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two <laughs> theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. Uh, yeah, these I'm guys not even suck. going to dignify that gibberish with a response. <laughs> what happened there? How do you do, sir? <laughs> I'm just kind of going up and down. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> oh and God, they're mad. Down outlaws, do you find time oh dang, he got chicken? mad. Oh no no oh, no no, not, this, not so. this way, not this way, not this way. I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Okay, oh, Grand Theft Auto uh, Old West. Uncle, That's pretty much what this game is. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of okay, let's see if we can knock this off. Age brings uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. Go way back. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Let's not fool around anymore. Uh, <laughs> let's not fool around. That did I not end well. Funny. Okay, it's saved. That's good. We don't have to redo all of that. Town. Nice. You have a strange sense of that means we can have well, another go at their wagon. This guy's getting too excited to watch him. Oh, it's his fault. Oh, his fault. Now who's being funny? Uh, Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. The wagon's not here. To us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. That's like Paul I am. always says, don't go waking a snake. I appreciate your concern for us less than more. They're shooting at us really and do. failing. And Talk if about there was any other okay. way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Okay, where are we on the map? I'm curious to know this. Let me know. So we were here. And now we're here. Okay, the wagons are more powerful. Armadillo, we're back to this station. Oh, oh, now they're telling us how to slow down. Oh, and you can go backwards. Nice. The wagon isn't nice. built for this kind of terrain. Well, too bad. We're going to be using it anyway. Stop. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> I thought it was going to be game over for us. Oh, look at our health. But is it one of those games that regenerates or do we have to get health now? Dang, we just wasted our health. Okay, we're here, lady. Get off. Get off, lady. Get off. I said, get off. We can't kill her. Yes. No, you're holding yourself up. Are we supposed to go? I thought we were supposed to stop here. Guess not. Um. Okay. Are we really gonna do this? 
Seriously, game? Seriously? So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. You just flopped harder than right LeBron now, James. To some I flopped harder than the, the Madam Web film. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet That's me in pretty front hard of the to do. Store when you're done. Go to the doctor's office. Yeah, that's a good call after what we just went through. We definitely need to get back to the office. How would Armadillo get by without me? Bye there. Yeah, we need lots of medicine. Bye. Yes, give me this. have any night fevers, come back and see me. Maybe it's time I'm I wonder what I need. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Completely restores your health. Okay, and we only got one of those. Thank you very much. Stay away from the salt pork and tobacco. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Medicine and other consumables. This text just goes on. Well, thanks for when driving. When it turns red, you die. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. Time for your prostate exam. Yes. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. I don't need saving. Are we gonna meet Jonah Hex in this? What do you guys think? No, that he's pretty... He's older, I think. Behind the fried station. Okay. Honor plus 50. Nice. There's a blue check mark over there. Right? I guess a blue X. And you can now purchase and rent properties marked with a blue icon. The thing about that is, uh,. We're not doing well with uh, everything. We have zero dollars. What can we purchase, really? So, yeah. Okay. Poker is available to play at a number of locations. Let's go there. I want to play poker. You gotta make, make some money to buy that stuff. So much information at once. Oh, so he was once one. Need twenty five dollars to play. Yeah, that's what happens when you're a poor bastard. Maybe the property's for free. Sorry, sir. Get out of my way. The way he runs is extremely suspicious. I'm just gonna put it this way. You're barking up the wrong tree, lady. So you guys said that you can do like this devil thing. Your move, my friend. <laughs> oh, so that's how you do the okay cover. Uh, you can't. You have to have fifty dollars. Okay. And we're regenerating now. That's pretty good. Okay, livery. Let's walk around and let's see what people are doing. This guy chopping wood. So, uh... Have you guys, uh, heard about the whole sur Silver Surfer situation? Oh! It's pretty nasty what happened with that. Essentially, they cat cast a female, um, actress. And I guess let's just pull her up while we... While I try to figure out what we're supposed to do here. Uh... An actress, of course. Did I say a female actress? Is that what I just said? That'd be weird. 
So here she is. Her name is... Uh, I don't know what her name is. But she was suppo supposed to play Madonna. And I think now that movie kind of fell through. And... Uh, that's who they cast as Silver Surfer in the new movie. Of course, she's going to be playing the wife of Norton Rad. And it's probably going to be taking place in a new universe. Hold on, let's not cover up the game for you guys. But that's who she's going to be playing. And mostly people are not fans of it because they just want Norton Rad. They want the main guy who is known as the Silver Surfer. They do not want a cheap version of that character. We haven't seen that guy in like, what, 15 years now? Over 15 years, I think. Uh, and this is like the first time we get to see him in a very long time. This is the first time we're going to see him in the MCU. And this is going to be his big debut and it's going to be a woman. Okay, so they're already changing that. And it, it is a big deal because uh, it's not even that they cast a man in the role and then they kind of did the female character which even then it would be stupid because the, this version of the character is not popular at all she had like what five appearances or not even there's a yellow x but the issue with that is she's had as many i compared i said this on my instagram is that she has she had as many appearances in comic books as el muerto this version of the character of course as silver surfer and it's ridiculous. It was in Alex's Ross Earth X series. Which I know a lot of people enjoy. Because it has like these different spins on characters. And she was one of the silver surfers there. And again, she was not very popular. She wasn't all that important to that story. She, uh, There is the male version next to her, uh, as you can see. And, well, the only version as far as I'm concerned. So, it's, it's a choice that they that they went with this direction obviously to kind of like hide under the facade that is from the comic books which is hilarious because that's what the defenders of this were saying it's from the comic books it's co from the comic books uh, but so what that is from the comic books it's from er like there are so many things that are stupid from the comic books and you would make fun of them and yet when it comes to this you are just suddenly now picking from Excuse like me. the smallest dosage of hey. stuff hey. that's from the comic you book <coughs> Like, she doesn't even exist in those storylines. I'm hyperbolizing, of course. Uh, but pretty much, what he's not that want? important. My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. I'm wow. glad the woman is gone. She was being too talkative. We're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company. What's up with his nose? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Again, Williamson. Williamson is the guy who shot us. What? We thought he was our friend, but not really. He shot us. I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who gives <laughs> Marshall's a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, <laughs> get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dick <laughs> What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening okay. my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> Why, though? That's what okay. I want to know. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. Well, obviously we know now county. why, but... Why is he doing under this guy? Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how 
Some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. Let me help you so you can help me later. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Let's head over to the saloon. It's not even the most prominent female herald, says Sir Dietzel. Yeah, isn't that like, uh, there's multiple of them, isn't there? For? Definitely there's like Frankie. Where is that her name? She's, she's Nova, Paul. not like a God Nova Corps. Remember, but she is, is uh, you could say, this creature of fire. The days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon. Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Yeah, I'm very interesting. Can, Mr. We ain't the government. Southwestern Railroad. Dumb rat bastard now. I think. Uh oh, shooting. How do you do the de dead eye thing? What kind of hole he crawls into? Look at Walter. Walton's our man. Um, lady. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. Is that my horse or yours? Catch me up. I don't want to let that bastard get away. There he is. Get. Oh my gosh. In that case, let's go Come get him. On. Do not kill Walton. Okay, let's not kill him. The music, nice. Dum, 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 dum. All right, I'm into this. Stay with me. I don't want to lose him. I'm with you. I'm with you. As you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? I thought and there is alive, no law here. He can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlaw's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Looks like he's holed up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Looks like we got company, boys. No. Uh -huh. Oh no. this hill okay hold on let's see if uh there is any stats multiplayer weapons outfits controls i was gonna try to look at the controls to see if uh there we go you guys were talking about like the dead eye thing what is that look behind dead eye is okay r3 interesting so arson i got you covered move up to that wagon Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. 
Okay. Oh. Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. That fool behind the rock is yours, Marston. Okay, that's different than the things in here. Oh, we didn't get him. That makes everything so much easier now. Now get to that rock. I'll shoot you through space. Oh, uh, should I go to the other one? Ciao, this is making it so much. To blind fire your weapon, we don't even need to blind fire. Now get behind that outhouse! Ain't sure we seen the last of them. <laughs> this is how you blind fire. Never mind. We don't want to do that. This was like one of the first um, Western games that really popped off. Became extremely popular. And probably one like, uh, like one of the few ones that existed. We picked up some ammo. Big body. Oh, there's a different guy here. Where was he? There, is that the good guy? He's the good guy. We don't want to kill him. Hold on, let me get Ain't the. Got me yet, old man. Oh, fine, whatever. You're going down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no! We want the gun. Come on, boy! He's getting away. Ah, fine. Let's just punch him. <laughs> You're all out of lives, boy. Punch him today. Come on, game. Stay down. I want to use my ammo. You and your deputy are gonna die here, Marshal. I want to. I can't use my stupid thing. Can you shoot him? Can you do something, you clown? I want to use my weapon. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna die soon because of this clown. I don't want to look behind. There we go. <laughs> this was so unnecessary. You're saying uh cap tatch here? What does cap tatch mean? Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend, I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. That was so unnecessary the way we kind of prolonged that, because I wanted to use the knife on him and not waste my bullets but then in the end we just ended up losing health and the bullets so it was really stupid we're still kind of getting used to the controls anyway knife has got a lot of money let's loot these guys what have you got for me fame 75 percent thank you for that honor negative 100 why Honorable people will react negatively to low honor. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Stat section, let's see that. Our honor. Drifter. Fame, nobody. Game completed. Only 5%. Total time played, 1 hour, 4 days, half past. That's pretty cool how they're keeping, how they're keeping everything here. Uh... And this is how many locations we've discovered. Okay, that's cool. Favorite job? None. That's pretty cool. Nice. You can't kill him. Yeah, we just did. Oh, you mean like the sheriff guy? The marshal left you a long way from civilization. You can quickly travel back to town using the travel destination feature of your camp. Use your... Satchel with you mean like this with this thing? We can fast travel here, right? Found bodies for cash, extra ammo, and yeah, we're already ahead of you, game. What 
can I say, partner? Is a master of all aspects of wilderness skills like hunting and sharpshooting can gain fame and money across the land. Try shooting birds or skinning coyotes to start you your on your way. Okay. So does that mean we're supposed to kill things as well? So much information, it's not even it's an overdose. This is a messy one. Armadillo meat. Delicious. Amazing. Let's find some Indians now. I think this game is gonna go for a... Does this count for my reputation as well? Skinny animal. Jackalopes? Jackalopes? Okay, buck antlers. And rabbit meat. Nice. Okay. Let's see if there's anything here. Revolver ammo. So, I agree with you guys. I mean, uh, will I watch the movie? I am definitely a bigger fan of the Fantastic Four than any of these other characters that we've been putting out. So, maybe out of curiosity, I will watch it after it's... Um, after it's uh, out of theater, so they don't get any of my money, of course. But will I watch it? That's a good question. I think in the end, I might, I might not even bother. It depends on, on the mood, really, and the time, really, if I have it. And honestly, I would rather play some good games. And see where that takes me, as opposed to watching something that I know I'm not going to like. Which, you know, sometimes I think you got to watch stuff that, you don't, that you're not going to like, so you can kind of like... Get a better understanding of why you don't like something and if you're into like uh what's going on there if you're like into media criticism and stuff and of course you gotta do you definitely have to watch that stuff as well let's not kill it so there's like multiple reasons to not hate watch something although that's something people do as well so many animals in this game so i'm probably not going to watch it but who knows, maybe I will. It really depends. Because I already know if that's like what they're going to be doing, then no. And I hear some shootouts in the background. Where's the sound coming from? So they said we can... We can fast travel, but it, you know, I don't know where it says that we can fast travel. That's the weird part. Where's the gunfire coming from? Can we shoot the horses? I think shooting the horses is not going to end well for anyone. did it let's see if we can sort of see what happens oh we can skin it oh no oh no let's look at it now oh what that's insane I did not I did not expect to see it. What? That's insane. Okay, I can still hear the gunshots. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. There's a town over there. And there's a marker on our map. Let's see what it means. Player mount. Okay, and that's where the horses are. Oh, that's where the horse is, okay. Yes, good horsey. Don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot you. 
Uh, let's just go. So do you guys... What is that? Is that a deer? Whoa, the physics of him just coming down. Yes, yeah, so we're just gonna skim this, these everything. Yum, horse burgers. <laughs> and Farquhar says, I can see it for free, referring to the movie. Okay, where are the gunshots coming from? That's what we need to know. And the thing with the Silver Surfer as well. Uh, like yeah, it's, it's a char it's a total non-character. So it's like uh, it just goes to show you where their priorities lie, and I I think at this point they're kind of doing it for outrage. They know that that's how they're gonna generate clicks, headlines, and attention towards the project by stirring some kind of controversy. Like think of uh, Obi Wan the TV series. No one was talking about that thing. And then when Reva showed up, the female character, uh, on the end of the POC character in the on the dark side, suddenly that became like a talking point. And she appeared in like what, episode three and she started apparently getting hate online. And Nintendo was spinning uh, Nintendo Disney was spinning that into like a, a controversy of its own. And it's, uh, that's what it took them. Hideouts generally contain hostile, hostile criminals and other low lives. Good, let's kill them. Let's meet the ranchers near the rock. And let's... Where's this guy? Oh, okay. Looks like you could use a hand. So I think Disney I is really just use a hand, really friend. hammering I'm way the... over my head here. Damn animals. Walton's boys oh. have taken my daughter. Okay then. Looks like we got trouble heading our way. I think Disney's doing it on purpose. They're putting these actresses out there to Ow! get criticized. Let's see if we can Oh dang. Oh dang, hold on. We got auto aim now, okay. You're ready. Yes. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Hide, 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 hide. Who shot us? You're from that side. I don't see these guys. Oh, there he is. Okay, he should be down now. We're very low on health, so we gotta be careful here. How do we miss him? You want more? Die already. Okay, two more guys. One of them is over there. Can we jump over this? No, 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 no. I don't know how to jump over this. Nice, that's cool. Oh, he's coming closer. Good. I need some shot.
He's down. Don't okay. do this, my Can you jump over this? We can't. There should be a way to jump over this. There we go. I don't know what we did, but we did something. And one more guy. Where is he? Is he up there? Got it? Yeah, he is. There we go. Oh, there's more of them. Great. Um, excuse me. Get inside. Hopefully that's not the daughter. There we go. Who wants me next? Thank God you're safe. Let's get you back home. There we go. We got Walton's guys. Now let's see where this takes us. Twin rocks complete. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We finally have the money to take over the town. How wonderful. Honor 200 plus. Nice. Sorry about this, partner. And people suddenly started talking about the Star Wars show, about Obi-Wan, because, like I said, no one was ever even talking about that stupid game, uh, stupid show, because it was just so awful. No one wanted to talk about it because it was uneventful, and then the ending was just abysmal, but halfway through in episode 3, people started caring, or, like, there was any so sort of uh, online discussion, it was because of the whole controversy with, the, with Reva, which I think was manufactured, and... The actress was trying to play the victim, and at that point, it's like, maybe she wasn't, but she was, uh... Her issue was that there were people who wrote mean stuff to her. And it's always ridiculous when that happens, because one, they're actors. Uh, the press is more mean to you than anyone who's probably going to write to you. Because uh, what the press does is that they write stuff, and they get more attention, and they can definitely ruin your life. Whereas, when someone gives you like an empty death, death threat, you know, it's not cool, of course, but it's empty. It's usually empty. It doesn't mean anything. And that's the thing, she wasn't even getting any death threats. That's the part, that's like the, not the weird part, that's like the, the odd part. I guess it's the odd part, because I didn't want to say weird, because it's, uh, it's not really weird. Because it's to be expected that they would play into their victim mentality. So it's to be expected at this point. But it's still weird regardless. Oh, wow. That's a dead cow. Uh, I think there was one more. Let's see how we even jumped over that thing. Like, let's see if we can do it right now so that we don't have to do it during battles. We just run towards it and... Okay, so we press square. The action, the jump button, okay. Uh, so... She wasn't getting any death threats, it was just mean people. Screenshots of people saying, like, mean stuff. That was like... I don't even remember, I don't even remember what it was. Prob probably something along the lines of... You're ugly. Right? And that's what sort of, uh... That's what they were clinging on to. Is that it? I think they were, I think they were hoping for worse. Honestly. And the character get, kept getting worse. So they were definitely... I think they were hoping for worse in terms of... That's our horse right there. Uh, for criticism and online backlash. But apparently they wanted it to be more racist than what they ended up getting. Let's see if we can make the jump. We did it. And we didn't die. We did something risky and we didn't even die. That's good. Sweet. 
All right, so so far this game is not so bad. It's uh, it's fairly good, but I think uh, it's gonna take a while for anything to happen. I mean, we're getting closer to our objective, so that's good. Let's see, what do we have to do now? Uh, map. Do we have to go back to the town? M is what? Marshall Johnson, okay. And Bonnie McFarlane. Okay, where's the other guy? Where do you go? I guess there's a green arrow over there. Well, there's a black arrow. And a green one. There's a green symbol. What is it? Green symbol. I guess it doesn't mean anything. What Star Wars show? I was talking about Obi-Wan. The... How, like, the Reva character, the black one. The black, um... That's also weird. It's like, oh, you have black, uh... Not rebels. Uh... Stormtroopers and... The bad guys are black, even though they're supposed to be a, like a reflection of, I guess, like a, a fa fascist country. And then they just went with a black person, a black woman as well. And also that was like a whole talking point. That was like a whole issue with the uh, Finn casting with the stormtroopers. I think the arrow is just like pointing north, honestly. So it's always hilarious when they do this stuff. There was also a problem with Bioshock. They had this ultra traditional um enemy in the game it was supposed to be a criticism of traditionalism and america and and then the police force that was supposed to be evil had women on it even though this is supposed to be a evil sexist uh, racist country in bioshock infinite apparently they allow women into their into into their uh law enforcement like actually on the field boots on the ground sort of situation so uh yeah i forgot what we're supposed to do maybe not even forgot but did they tell us because so far we've been kind of like doing our own thing and we happen to be always going back to it let's see they said something about mm, base campsite the pardon letter what is it I turn into it at a local station. Okay. Hmm. That's cool. I didn't know that. Provisions. Do we have to eat in this game as well? Refills the dead eye meter. I think the normal difficulty is all right. The horse movement in this game is great compared to other games. Like The Witcher 3 had some wonky horse rides. All right, can we do like a fast travel thing? Because it did say we can do it, but to what extent? Ah, uh, yes. Only one I know is Clone Wars from 03 and Clone Wars from 08, as well as Rebels. So Rebels is a Disney show, so that's interesting that you actually like that. So that was like the thing. By the way, if you guys know what we're supposed to do here, there's not even like a... There's usually like a objective meter telling you stuff. And the game keeps track of it. I guess it's in the journal. I guess not. Significant deeds go blah blah blah. Brief challenges. Okay. Killed the Walton gang, which we did. Looks like we got trouble heading it in our way. Yes. Uh you're safe. Let's get you back home. Oh, we can also use the D-pad to change uh, weapons. That's cool. Okay. 
Uh. Yeah, it's odd. It's not telling us what to do. Like, what the objective is. Not even, like... Uh, just an objective would be fine. I don't need, like, a marker for everything. Missions. There we go. Uh, what are we doing right now? But those are the past missions, right? I mean, what I would do is just go back to... To the town we came from. Strangers, crimes, travels, money, travels. Nope. Yeah, kind of uh, unsure. I'm going to have to search it up later because... Because I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it. And I, I'm pretty sure the game told you, but... They tell you so many things in this game is at the same time. You guys saw it yourselves. Let's see if they're inside still. Maybe they'll tell us. Nope. Okay, they, they were here. Sorry. Are you serious? Are we stuck? Okay, never mind. Alright, let's get out of here. Come on. So I think Hosky said something that in the Twitch chat, let's see. Uh oh yeah, Dead Eyes in both games. Yeah, I'm stupid. Did you play both of them? Did you play both games? Did you play uh, Red Dead and Red Red Dead Redemption 2? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's just mark it on our map. Let's get back to the Armadillo Station. Okay, so the female surfer surfer was a thing, right? And then after that... Uh, there was also a different piece of news. Oh, dang. It's gonna attack us? Oh, it's charging. Of course we're gonna kill it. Or what else did you guys think was gonna happen? So that was the first thing, you know, people responded to it. And then there was this weird article that said Lakeith, uh, what's his name, Styles, Lakeith something, I forget his last name, but he said that he was going to be basically, he was kind of upset that he was not going to be playing Silver Surfer, almost like it was a tease of him, almost like he was trying to tease that he was going to be Silver Surfer in the movie as well, which I was, what the hell was that noise? Excuse me, but that was, like, weird. Uh, that was an odd sound, but, yeah, it's like, uh, let's put this here. Let's ride towards him. Let's go. Oh, the music is playing. That means we're doing something right, probably. Coyotes, I saw you. So he said that he was kind of like upset that he was not getting the role, which again was like a almost like a wink that he was going to be playing the character. And that was pretty neg- I had a negative response to this. Because, well, you know, Silver Surfer is not a black character despite what someone else might tell you. He's not. And if you go look at the older comics, he is, and not just the older ones, the new ones as well, he is not. A, a, a African American or an African or anything of that sort. He doesn't have those. He doesn't have the skin color. He doesn't have the races, racial fe uh, racial features, facial features, and all that stuff. Not anything that would suggest he's African American. So no, Silver Surfer is not black. He is white. That's how he was. And someone asked me on um, 
on Instagram, why am I so like hell bent that he has to be? Or it's like, why does it matter if it, it's not important for the character? And I think it's pretty, you know, they say it's like it doesn't matter for the character, but Silver Surfer was created in a certain way. He was created to. He was created. He was created as a Silver Surfer, right? But also, he was created as a white character. So you can't now change that and say, "Oh, that's not essential to the character." It, it would not be essential to the character. That's how the character looks. It's essential just because it's not part of his personality, or if it doesn't play into his his behaviors, uh, it doesn't make it unessential or like not important. Save game? We don't want to save game now. And somebody asked me, like, yeah, it's like, if it doesn't play into the character's personality and his attitude... She's... I don't know, let's not use... Uh, Okay, hold on, no! Oh no! How do I pawn? Oh dang, well, I'm not gonna feel bad for her. She probably did. Oh, dude! Yeah, this guy was a scumbag too, apparently. This ain't nice. I know. Whatever, just give me the money. She probably has a lot of it. Give it to me. I want her money. Shut up, everyone. I just self-defended myself. Give me a good drink. So what, what was he saying? Uh, yeah, it's, if it doesn't play into his behaviors and his actions, then it probably shouldn't be important, right? Well, guess what? I think it is because... Again, if you create a character in a certain way, then you have to keep that. If I made him the Golden Surfer, you know, you can change him from a Silver to a Golden Surfer. But you would take issue with that, right? Because the character was created in a certain way. And so you would take issue with that. But again, I would make the same argument that Golden Surfer or Bronze Surfer or Emerald Surfer, it doesn't change his character. But again, it's what has, it's the way the character has been designed. And that's what it's supposed to reflect, and you got you got to stick with that. I had the same issue with the way they treated Spider Woman. This is my house, okay? Yeah, okay. I guess uh, we gotta we gotta go down. Let's go back to the station. Which which where was it again? There we go. Oh yeah, see, and there's a yellow X. See, we're doing everything perfectly. There we go. Told you. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? We still don't know, Hello? We still don't know much about this guy. That's fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, we just know that he's sort of just like walking do. around. Suddenly the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right <laughs> now? 
Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Why is everyone so ugly in this game? Yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm is most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna it looks normal, I guess. Life, even worse it looks than pretty your lazy cool. eye. <laughs> All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. He's such a nice guy. When I saw him on the cover, I was like, oh, he's going to be a badass who doesn't mess around. But he's pretty chill. Can I take somebody else's horse? Okay, guess not. Guess not. Okay. Let's follow them. See, I told you guys we know what what we're supposed to do. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. <laughs> I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Weaveson folded you up like a empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Never down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. All right, Whoa, leave the horses yeah. here and follow me. Head for the fort! Did he say head for the fort? Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Let's go, Marston. We gotta keep moving. What's up with his run? That's what I'm still trying to understand. It is so odd. Not this one, it's the other one. Hustler, find some cover. Dang. Okay, we got him. I need more bullets. Come with me or go with them. Uh, let's go with him. Where is he? My God! Stop falling behind. We gotta push forward. I just wanted some ammo. Calm down. I'm going with him because uh, you to give an old man a hand. it's uh, suggesting that he's gonna die if I don't go with him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Look out! There's two behind that rock. What? Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm gonna put you oh, he's down. not down? Return to Marshall? Why, though? Hold on, hold on. Let's just finish this job. Cover for Marshall? Where is he? Surrender, or I'll kill Are you kidding you me? You're backtracking just so I can get killed? That was a weird move from him. You got him, right? He's not down yet? Okay. Get out. Looks like 
Ah, uh, the scream, the Wilhelm scream. Did you guys hear that? go there they are the two of them and this guy wanted to take them down by themselves by himself seems a tad bit ridiculous if you ask me uh oh nice shot it's you or me friend come on let's clear out that camp watch yourself looks like they have some backup Okay, so far pretty good. Gotta say, I'm liking the game now. Oh, finally get, got to see more action. It's a question for you, really. Where's the... Where's the... He dead? No. Come on! Let's get these sons of bitches! <laughs> yeah. That bastard won't be rustling no more. Christ alive! Put your gun down, friend! I'm gonna shoot you dead! Hey, you! That's steady now! Don't leave yourself open! Good shooting, Marston. Looks like there's some ammunition lying about if you need it. I'll meet you up on the ridge. Okay, meet him up at the ridge. So, yeah, so far we don't know much about this guy other than he's from somewhere that, you know, it's not the most significant of places, but he seems pretty... Not rich, but he's known around these parts. And he's hang out he's hung out with Bill, who is a bandit. And now he's not a friend of ours for some reason. Somebody's trying to kill us apparently. Uh and what else? And there's a vote happening. In the round I don't know what kind of vote though. Like for the county or the mayor or I don't know. I wonder how the other guys did. They seem pretty pretty dumb, but come to think of it, they're pretty well versed with the, the ammunition and everything. I think I spotted some snipers. Okay, let's see if uh we got ammo. We still got there ammo. Snipers. snipers. I'm you one last to put oh your damn. Hands in the air. Come on, Get down. Where's the dead eye? Cause uh Stay with me. Is that him? I see you, boy. There he is. He's dead. It sounds like the deputies could use a hand. This was a bad idea. Find cover quick. We got your back, boy. We're barely gonna make it alive. This guy is kind of doing some stuff. You see, bad guy. No, those are the good guys. Good. Hold on, let me get some stuff around here. What have we got here? I guess I should be using my revolver because it's got more ammo now. My other one. Oh, oh, it's the carabine. 
whatever the weapon name is. Oh no! Oh no, don't fall. Okay. Good. I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice. Okay. This nice. looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. All right. Stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. How do I stay stealthy, though? This game, see, that's the thing about this game. It tells you everything but the stuff related to your movement, your gameplay. In that case, it should be in, uh, not in options. Yeah, it's in options. Okay, let's see. Crouch. Okay, yeah, it's actually, that's kind of typical of what you do in other games. But, come to think of it, a lot of these other controls are not as, as they are in other games, so... Let's see. Good. Let's get closer to them. Okay, can we shoot him or should we just attack him from the back if that's even possible? I don't think that's possible, is it? It's not like Batman Arkham. What the heck? How do you see me, I guess, from the side? Let's get out of here. Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. I'll kill the hell out of you. Don't just stand there. We're coming down, we're coming down, don't worry, dudes. So the thing about the dead eye is that it apparently dies down the meter, right? So the thing about that is where does it say that on the screen how much time you've got? Good shot. It was impossible to miss. One more left. And he's dead. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Uh, All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. What did you hear, Far Cry Lego? Because you're you're saying I heard it. Nice. Save. Nigel Westikins can be found in Cola Springs. Chola Springs. I think it's Cola. Strangers found throughout the world are in need of assistance. They are marked with question marks on your map. Cool. 
Let's see what we can find around these parts. You can place waypoints with X on the territory map in the pause menu. This will display the south shortest path to the waypoint. Yes, we know. How do you fast travel now? Yeah, I'm going to have to search this up later. If you, how can you fast travel? Um, let's see. So, oh, uh, I wanted to watch something with you guys. That's not this game. Let's see if we can find stuff around here. And then it's going to be related to the X-Men cartoon. X-Men 97. Okay, we've been here. Good. Okay, good. Oh, wow. Well. Alright. Is it is it supposed to be like that where they don't tell you where to go necessarily? And you just have to be very... You have to listen to the story and what's happening and everything? Is that it? Or do they... Is there like a objective thing that you're supposed to be constantly looking at because I don't have it here. Nigel West Dickens can be found in Cola Springs. I guess we got to use the notes really instead of uh, using some kind of marker and trying to find the uh, the objectives, right? The mission report. We're just going to we got to look at the notes. we got to pay attention to the story and just figure it out that way, I think. So, wherever is Cola Springs, it's this way. So, that's the fastest way? No way. There we go. That's better. That's cool. So, wait. Nigel West Dickens is here. So why do they want us to go there? Hold on. Get back to notes. Can be found in... What? It's saying one thing here and then the other there. It's saying that he's found in this area, but then telling us that he's right over here. Which makes no sense. Okay, that's weird. I guess we should go here, but going off off of the nodes, I would have just gone to the to this location. Okay, it's very odd. I guess this is where the you know it says springs, but it's right here, and then the water's here. I don't even know. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we'll never know until we get there. Okay, in the meantime, well, in the meantime, let's watch the clips together from X Men 97. And then we'll get back to the game. Uh, I know I wanted to do like a half this, half that, but let's see. Yeah, we have some time left. So. Let's uh, watch the X-Men stuff from X-Men 97, which uh, this is stuff from episode, I believe, 3, where Mr. Sinister attacks the man, the X-Mansion, and starts playing mind games on the mutants. And some of you probably already know where I'm going with this. So, mm -mm -mm, let's just find those clips. Okay. Here we have it. So this is what happens first. And look at this animation. Again, I'm sorry, but... I'm not really sorry, but... Uh, let's make this smaller just to be safe with the copyright. But look at the way they enter this place. It's awful. I don't care what anyone says. This animation looks sloppy. 
And the way that door opened, I'm sorry. Look at it. Look at this. Looks like it was made on, on YouTube, frankly, by a YouTuber. And then the way they move just up and down. And the movement is so wavy and, and wobbly. Can you hear can you hear Morph's voice in this? He has the gay accent. Look at it. Listen to it. They soft, but they're tough. They wild. Look at the schedule and see who's up next. Hmm. Looks like Magneto and Rogue have the danger room next. Let me make this louder because uh you guys probably didn't hear it. Hmm. Looks like Magneto and Rogue have the danger room next. Oh, and all tomorrow too. Wow. Rogue's really training her stamina with the new boss. It don't and then obviously the joke here is that Rogue and Magneto are in a relationship. As they were in the comic books, but I'm pretty sure it was done differently. Because it wasn't was it at, at the expense of uh at the expense of Gambit? I don't think it was, but you guys can let me know because I'm not like an X-Men expert. But the way this entire show has been giving Gambit so many L's, and I think this one's the worst one because the stuff from the original cartoon, you know, I haven't watched much of it, but from what I, from what I have seen, is that Gambit and Rogue were a very popular couple too. Well, they were a popular popular couple on the show, and and now the whole thing with Gambit is that he's just a cuck, really. And he, when he found out found out that they were making out, Rogue and Magneto, he was just kind of like sad about it, and he didn't even tell anyone about it. Say that. Stay on patrol. What is this face? It's not funny, really. He's he's a loser in this. On second thought, maybe Gamma go look for Rogue right now. <laughs> sure she'll look fine. And so this is going to be Mr. Sinister playing mind tricks on him. Don't forget to clip it. Right. If we all don't know. And he's forced to watch this. So. Get on back to the swamp with the rest of them nasty thieving critters, Remy. I found myself a real man. A hero. Yeah, they can never unsee that. Now, what the heck is going on? Haven't you figured it out? Yeah, that's not very funny. It's not in it's not e even you know, it's not like, a, oh my goodness, what they're doing, what are they doing to his mind? It's, what are you doing to Gambit? You want me to flip it? Okay. Fair, fair. We don't want to get sniped, like you said. Uh, We're in hell. So yeah, that's that's Gambit in the, in the new show. He's constantly taking L's. He's constantly looking like a loser. And that's Gambit for you. And Morph's, vo Morph's voice. Uh, pay attention to that. Let's see. Uh, let's do this scene. Oh, okay. Gambit again. Our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. I second the blue rogue mad. Look at Gambit here. This is him. Again, we saw his his uh, look in the last episode with the. It's just awful, the crop top. Which, you know, some people say, okay, it was in the in the 90s, was a fashion sense, but he looked way different than he looked ripped back then. And here he looks like a twink. That's what he is, really. And so, in this clip, pay attention to Morph again and Gambit, although he's kind of just already done in this clip, so pay attention to Morph. Deserves it. Jubilee will see far more birthdays should she learn to master her powers to face a world that despises her. Yeah, oh, someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16. Again, the the gay accent is there and it's so painful to listen to because that's not what he sounded like in the in the original cartoon. My parents perished when I was a child. How it's supposed to be funny apparently. Uh but okay. And this is how he sounded like in the original. Every 
Saturday night at five, he turns into a bar. Get it? <laughs> I don't believe it. Everybody's a critic. That's Morph, by the way. Him disguised. Spring break's over, Morph. You're coming with me. I don't think so, old man. I figured you might follow me. And that's his voice. That's, again, his voice. So now compare this voice to what he had before. And even his appearance is way different. He's supposed to be a villain here. An outright villain who has... Maybe he got redeemed at the end of the show because I didn't watch the ending. But he is a clear-cut villain here. He messes with all the other X-Men again. With uh, Rogue, he... With Gambit, he turns into Rogue. And he tries to kind of like uh, mess with Gambit in that way in the, in the original cartoon. Try to kind of like hint at a a chance at romance and then that sort of uh flip uh kind of uh, messes with uh, remy and then with storm there was also like a scene with storm he was basically trying to take on the like the the appearance of other x-men try to turn them against each other in this way and he was playing mind games and this was very much in character for him you never were very bright what do you think of your final resting place whatever you're going through morph i've been there the professor saved me. I'm gonna save you. A little late, aren't you? Oh! You're coming with me. One way or another. You wanna take me back? Why? So we can go bowling? Shoot some hoops? Or maybe it's love you're missing. <laughs> when I'm with you, all I can think about is how much I'm in love with Cyclops. So yeah, she's he's messing with her, uh, with Wolverine, and it's clearly supposed to be a mind game. But as you remember, the last time we did a live stream, one of the original writers, the people who worked on who worked on the original cartoon, said that oh, there is nothing more, uh, more, more. Uh, what was it like? More. I don't think he said LGBTQ+. plus. He said there's nothing more non-binary than Morph turning into Wolver uh, Jean Grey trying to hit at him. Hit on him. And it's like, you're taking out a lot of context in order to retcon and rewrite history w with what was happening in your own show. Why are you pretending like he was trying to make out with Logan here when he's clearly just trying to get out of this whole situation and he's trying to basically throw Logan off balance just so that he could escape. But no, the writers of this show, of the original one, were trying to say that Morph was non-binary because he was he, he did this, even though he did this with other characters. And I think it's and and the and the example the writers used was this one was of Jean Grey and Wolverine of Morph becoming uh, Jean Grey, and it's like hmm that's interesting. Why did you choose that example of them all? And we'll get to that. Why didn't you bring up Rogue and Gambit? Why didn't you bring up the scenes with Storm and all these other characters? Why are you just honing in on the Wolverine scene? Because, again, he's removing, well, number one, he's removing the original context that was there, right? That's the first thing. And then the other one is, well, I'll show you later, but let's just finish this. <laughs> Who could ever love a freak like you? No. <laughs> and he got away. So again, that was that. But then it's like, okay, so why did they why did the writer hone in on this scene in particular? Well, I think it's because of this other scene Hello? in the show, which is again it's from the same episode where Mr. Sinister comes in and tries to mess with everyone's mind, and then of course he Gambit yeah, goes with Rogue. I mean he uh he uses Rogue to kind of get into he creates a a false vision of Rogue making out with Magneto to get under Gambit's skin. 
makes sense. Even though, you know, I think after that, Gambit should just dump her. Why should she? Why should he be this loser guy who's taking all the sloppy seconds? Why is he even still bothering with this if a woman is acting like this towards him? It's pretty clear that he, even though obviously that was a nightmare sequence, but he knows that they're they're an item. He knows that she is cheating on him, so they they basically turn him into a cuck, and so that was how they got into Remy's head. How do they get into Morph's head? This is what they do. Is that you, Gambit? Logan? One too many redheads for you. Here, need some help with those hard to reach spaces. Always with the jokes, eh, Morph? Right, flip it. If I don't know. And yeah, we saw that one basically. That's coming from the TV. Liar. Liar. <laughs> That's his mom. And let's go back. So again, so his nightmare is that he was going to make out with Wolverine in the shower. Because look at it. He's, he walks into him. He thinks it's Gambit. He, he walks in, inside of the shower room. And then he looks excited when he finds out it's Wolverine. And he makes that stupid face. These, this aroused face. I'm sorry for making you look at this, but just to see, to show you that I'm not making this up. It's like, okay, he's, he looks very excited and amused by this whole situation. One too many redheads for you. Here. And then now he's trying to like approach him with his claws as like a joke. It's like, oh, I'm going to scrub you. It's, no. Why? Some help with those hard to reach spaces. And then the nightmare for him, the worst case scenario for him is not that it's not that he's reliving his nightmare with Mr. Sinister, but it's that, oh, it's, uh, he doesn't get to make out with Wolverine under the shower. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Okay. Well, obviously you guys know that since you're seeing this yourselves, but it's insane what's happening. And he's like, people are praising this, turning Gambit into a cuck. And essentially pushing this LGBTQ plus nonsense. People are, but people are defending it and they're thirsting over Cyclops. They love that as well. So you get the worst of all worlds right now. And let them. I say let them because I don't think there's anything for us to kind of... Uh, we're not missing out on anything. If this is the best they've got, then go ahead and have it. The faces look so stale, says Hosky on Twitch. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, the whole movement and the whole animation just looks off. Come on. I really like how the physics in this game, even though it's like, you know, you get off the horse and then he still, he still runs instead of the horse stopping because you have to first stop the horse. And then you have to get off. And that's pretty cool. Because yeah. most games would not do that stuff. Whoa. So it's like with the whole X-Men show. I think this a new episode came out today. Episode. Although I don't think there's anything worthy to talk about there. Because it's like a, an episode where... We talked about this last time as well. Storm lost her powers, so now she's in, in on her journey to try to find them and gain them back, and so she needs Forge. And he created the machine that basically takes away mutant powers. And uh, she has a thing with him. There's a lot of romance in this show for whatever reason. I mean, it makes sense. It's the X-Men, but it's, it's nothing but 
but love and romance and scandals. You can save game from anywhere in the wilderness. Choose the camp item from your next. Okay. Let's go. Why can't we go this way? Why is why is it showing us to go? Oh, okay. I see. I guess. And in that case, let's just follow the red marker. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing you're kind of notice with the. Uh, Let's get back. I saw something here. There we go. There we go. That's one. flowers for my lady. Survivalist child challenge. What? Sure. Why not? Let's go. The thing about, like, the whole romance thing is that's always, like, of course I'm a fan of it when it comes to, like, characters, you know, like, love stories make sense for superheroes. They're as classic as you can get, aside from, like, your typical saving the world and stuff. There's a girl that he has to save, or, or just a love interest that's always there, and that's always caught up in everything that's happening in his world, especially for Spider-Man, when you look at that. And for all the other characters, they always have a love interest, and it makes sense. Right, uh, and for X Men, the soap soap opera angle works. It works. It's just uh, having so much of it is almost like it's taking up almost every single episode, and it's telling because I think that's what by the end of the day, the whole romance, the whole people in dresses, and the Hellfire Gala, those are the things that these people care about the most. It's like that sort of stuff. Instead of the action, which they kind of do as well. They do that in the show, but but at the same time you have all these other things that are just there. And it, when you have that sort of stuff, or like the talking and sitting down and talking s sequences in other shows. Is he too far away? I guess it is. I wanted, I wanted to shoot down the bird, but it was too far away, I guess. Let's go. Uh, there's always like a tell because these people are pre uh, like obsessed with this sort of stuff like for example they love prom episodes in shows and they always the writers always create prom episodes because they never got to go to prom so so they have to relive their memories of how they never went to prom it's really sad and that's why they're also obsessed with Harry Potter especially and they never grew out of it, which, you know, it's like, hey, I'm still reading comic books, right? But these people are so obsessed with Harry Potter that that's all. They named the, their kids after it. And and it's like they have no self-awareness about what they like and what they don't like. It's just, oh, this appeals to me. And it's partly because of witchcraft. And that's why it appeals to them. But also, um, what was it the goblet of there we go let's skin this thing alive <laughs> good we got it like they're obsessed with the prom episode not the prom episode but the party episode from goblet of fire yeah i say episode i'm in chapter <laughs> take feather cool so we don't get to skin it alive lame that's okay, I guess. Uh, horsey. They would ma much rather make all this superhero stuff dramas. Yes, exactly. I don't know if you watched uh, the scenes where we were kind of like showing the stuff from the X-Men, but like, yeah, the morph stuff as well. And like playing into the ships all the time, the love triangles. 
I mean, that stuff can be fun to a, a point. Like, it shouldn't be the main focus of any of the superhero stuff. I'm only killing these birds because it, it seems fun to... And plus it told me that it's going to give me like points for it or something. Okay, why is there a red X on the map for me? Because we're close or what? Maybe it's the objective. There we go, we're in the Cola Springs. So I, I guess this entire region is Cola Springs. Okay. Even though it does not look like it's part of it, it looks like it's far away from it. It's closer to this other place that we went to. Oh gosh. Well, that's nice. Can we run into them? We're about to lose blood and everything. Oh crap, dang it. dead not that i mind the relationship stuff but they definitely focus on this stuff too much nowadays it is a problem because yeah it's like they're very focused on the shipping and everything else uh-oh where are we Dang. Kind of far away. Although I'm pretty sure we kept all this stuff from before, hopefully. Like, the stuff that we bought from before, hopefully that's saved. I'm gonna assume that, yes. See, it's like the armadillo is way closer to it, and it's like, we're definitely not there. Whatever. It's fine. Skill issue, get, get good, bro. Uh, and that's never gonna happen at this point. We're just going to have to suffer. Suffer. Spend your hard-earned dollars on increased firepower. Is there any of that here? Let's see. It is. There's poker as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's just go to this guy and gallop to it. It was also a pointless death. I've noticed I like to to get to those all the time. What is that? Do you guys think let's see, let's see, we have the we have the thing next to us. We can see if the feather feathers are there. And uh they're not. Dang. Oh well, hopefully the do we have the same amount of bullets? Wait, are we making a circle back? What's up with this game? Oh, what? Wait, what? Why is there an X there? Let's go. Weird, weird. Okay. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, she wants to stay around. Life. Well, she's making one, up I'm stuff. Trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh. 
Call me Bonnie, you fool. Dang it, she is into Call us like Bonnie. crazy. I really don't like her. Miss McFarland, I'm married. Thank you. Lied to her, good. I son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. Backstory. We killed people we didn't like. Backstory time. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Hmm. Nah, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but... It's very interesting to her. explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they What's your had necklace? Done great grandparents that he She's a witch. Met. Kill her. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were... Drama dumping. Let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. Goodness, this guy's she just trauma dumping all the time. He was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer. Sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area. And a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. That did not go well last right time. Direction. Hoske, he's not lying, TF? He really does have a family? Apparently. Okay, I guess question time to you guys is... Like, obviously we're gonna do this mission and then the question is... Should right, we do the other one that we failed before? Pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle! Get up! Oh gosh, this woman is really annoying me. It's a good thing we told her off. Cause she is really well, annoying me. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. No, this John Marston guy, I thought he would be more of a silent but deadly type. Which is all right. Move into position behind her. That should start them moving in the right direction. Assuming they aren't put off by your smell. Excuse you, miss. So it's actually a good thing Easy that we managed now. to... To kind of get here, technically. Because we got a lot of his backstory now. Maybe he's lying, though. But I doubt it, since he seemed pretty friendly to her. Okay, guys. Come on. Uh, you kidding me? They're blocking my way. Start herding them out of the pen, city boy. We'll help you from there. Not a city boy, didn't I tell her that? 
What are they doing? This is some 10 out of 10 gameplay. What what are you talking about? I'm right behind them, but they they keep getting behind me. How about you do it, miss? Whoa. I'm behind them, see? Right now. Come on! We need to get these cows out of the pen and onto the road before she we all so die annoying. of boredom. Whoa there. This is gonna take us forever. I'm Start so done. Oh my gosh, is she not going to shut up now? Are you kidding me? We didn't even do anything. You know what? Is she calling me an imbecile? I'm so done with this woman. I'm just going to run into them. Oh, is that it? You're just supposed to run at them? Aggressively? No! Oh, I wanted to jump over you. I can't stand this woman. She is obnoxious. Lady... Shut up. Okay, go. Okay, finally we got a hang of this thing. Harry Potter names are not even that bad, says Hosky on Twitch. Oh wait, he says names are so aren't sweet. Are somewhat normal. And what about that? Let's like go. better than anime names. Did I ever say that the names were bad? I'm not sure where the comment is coming from. Let's hmm. go. Oh, there's more of them? Nearly there. Keep going, Mr. Marston. Oh, they know my Keep name too. Now. Okay, we did it, right? Oh no, we gotta take care of the yeah. others. Trio, tree, okay. Well, she's helping us, and that's good. I wouldn't say you're a natural herder. Move on, move on. Wait, oh, cool. Move on. Don't take it that way. Cool. Try to... I'm not. Stick with it, Mr. Marston. You're getting there. I thought you'd be better than this. Keep your eye on the herd. You're doing well. Let's go. We're going to lose the herd if you don't keep it together. I don't care about the herd. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You can do better than that. Move. Come on. What is this animal abuse? Yes, Let's it go. is. I would say this is animal move, abuse, the move. game. You're saying, no, I'm not referring to naming your children, move. Harry Potter. Oh. There we go. We did it, finally. Watch oh, thank goodness. That was that was not fun, let me tell you. I was not referring to naming your children, bad, Harry Potter hurt. name. That's Thanks all right. Anime? I will, dude. Marston. I think Either about that, the kid, you not yourself. I see life. what you're saying. Thank you, Miss McFarlane. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Yeah, naming your child after a Harry Potter name is obsessive, is obsessed. And then whoa, naming your kid after like whoa, she's fast. Let's go. Yeah. You will be named a legend of the West. Let's just meet up with her for the last time, hopefully. And let's hope this is the end of her.
Yeah, naming your kids after an anime character, that would be insane. Like, uh, Deku, get over here. Goku. There was this one video on Instagram I shared. There was one person who who did use... Um, was it Goku? Or was it Naruto? I forget which character it was, but it was pretty embarrassing. Is that her? Apparently not. Okay, let's get to her and let's finish this. Come on, easy up now. Now why walk when you can ride, Wait. mister? The horse rides in this are the best. Oh, except for the herd mission. The herd mission was kind of weird. back after 8 a.m. today she must be insane I am not going to her use one of the posters to begin hunting a target okay get back that woman is insane is that the wanted poster? Is that? I think it was. Uh, where was it? There it is. Accept bounty, but can I move it for later? Saving the bounty target has last seen Miss Calero. Which is here, which is technically on the way. Kind of, not really. We could go there next time. Yeah, let's do it. Let's save it for next time. So we'll go here, and then we'll go here, and then that's what's going to be happening during the next playthrough. But, at last, we have one more thing to do. Can I save somewhere here? Uh, hold on, let's walk up to the person with the... With the exclamation mark. You see the events he uh, he said in Red Dead Redemption 2. Once you do Red Re Dead Redemption 2, you be you'll be an OG. So that is what he is talking about. I'll be naming my kids after comic characters. Like which character would you name your your kids after? Like what Nova? What is this? What is he doing? Tell me where to go, mister. Oh, nice. Oh, enjoy the view. This is pretty good for chats. That's cool. That's really cool. Nice. So this is the quick, uh, the fast travel route. Okay. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to leave this place. I just want to save... Which, uh, come to think of it, where were the save locations? What is this? Newspaper seller. Yeah, let's go just, uh, let's try to save. Better off ride with me, mister. I'm still thinking about, like, which way should we take this? As in, should we be more of a intimidating dishonorable cowboy or should we be a honorable man or just be a lukewarm character and not commit to any single one direction that's that's something for us to figure out we can join in on games of horseshoes 
Okay. There's the doctor. Okay. Let's do one game of horseshoes to end it off. How good are you tossing things? Zoom in on pit hold. You've done this before. Okay. Practice tossing. Push R. I didn't read the whole thing. Swing and release with R2. Oh, okay, I see. What am I even doing here? I've seen Grandma throw back. Okay. Let's bet like one five dollars. Very nice. We're going to lose this. I just know it. Okay. Camera hold is L2. Okay. Okay, let's just... Okay, that wasn't bad. And that was awful, okay. Closest player scores one point for each horseshoe clock. Closest. A perfect ringer is worth three points. So the first person to reach 11 points wins. Okay. Skip. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just skip him. Who wants to watch him? Oh, he's good. Oh, nice. Still not close enough. He was closer, okay. Skip him. Maybe now is our chance. Nope. God damn it. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's over for us. Uh, let's see. I be naming my kids after common characters: Spidey, Batman, Deadpool, Hulk. But you're not gonna call them Spider Man, right? Right? Please don't tell me you're gonna call them Spider Man. Why is it so crooked? Oh my goodness gracious! The tick, be honor for this one. Skip, duh. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take the L on this one. But you gotta tell me more, because it's like, you're not gonna call your child Deadpool. <laughs> right? Oh, wow, that's good strategy. It rolls into the thing, so that's better. 
Oh, uh, again, we lost, but that was better. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna have to phone this one in. I don't understand why it's going to the right. Wait, like just quit. Yes, quit this awful game. Did we lose the money? I don't think we did. Oh yeah, we did. We lost. one. We have 145. I just want to save at this point. There's a fire place here. Okay, whatever. I don't think it matters now. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Whatever, I'll do it a after. Let's let's focus on what we wanted to do, which is watch the Miles Morales short movie at the very end. We saved this one for the last one uh, because we do not want to get taken down. And if we do, you can always come back to the stream. We'll come back to the stream if we get taken down, and because we got to criticize Spider-Man Miles Morales, of course. That's what we do around these parts. Oh, Gregory, you are a big booty at this. The game is, uh, I'm never using this controller ever again. It's proven to be extremely awful in, extremely awful in general. Like when we were using it for Batman, Arkham games, it also did not work as I wanted it to. I couldn't even change to the gadgets, the gadgets that I wanted. It was awful. Don't you mean Peter Darker? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I know that's a, a term that uh, Young Ripa has coined. Obviously, he coined that term, and it's a it's an amusing term. But you know, I think it's it's more derogatory to call him Miles Morales because if you call him Peter Darker, I understand what we're trying to do. That we're trying to say, hey, you're just a copy of him, which in some sense he is, of course. Uh, but I think. I think Miles Morales is worse in every single aspect that, you know, associating him to Peter, I think that's a bigger offense to Peter, you know, to say, hey, he's like you, when in reality, yeah, he's taking a lot from him, his villains, his costume, his identity, his, even his aspect of his story, even though Peter doesn't own every single tragic storyline, but He's taken a lot from him, let's face it, over the years. His uh, his nerd persona, all of that. His villains, you know, there's no, there's no denying that, right? But even then, I think there's something specifically unique to Miles Morales. And I think it's that he is the ultimate tokenize, tokenized character. I think no one else has that sort of honor but Miles. And we cannot just say that he's Peter Darker, I guess. It, it's a play on that. It's a mockery of that. But at the same time, making sure that it's Miles Morales, I think, signals to everyone that it really is him. Uh, and, you know, when people say, oh, Spider-Man, uh, just call him Spider-Man. Why don't you call him Spider-Man? Those crying people all the time. And Marvel keeps calling him Miles Morales themselves because they know that he's not the original. So I think Miles Morales is, ironically enough, it's his name, but it's also his, it's, 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 a, it's an insult to him. His own name is an insult. It's like being called, it's like being called Deku. And that's what he's going to have to settle for. And, is that what you're going to be calling your kids, Far Cry Lego? Peter Darker? Is that what it is? <laughs> Let me know. But seriously, uh, do follow up on the on the Deadpool, Hulk, uh, Batman, Spidey thing. Name your child Parker or Peter. Or it's like there's so many like so many ways you can kind of like look at it from. So you got to be more specific and not because I need you to be, but I'm just kind of like curious myself. Uh, yeah, and what about you, Hosuke? What are you going to be calling your kids? <laughs> Couldn't, could name your kid Hal. Uh, Hal is short for Hal, uh, Harold, I think. Uh, Hal Jordan's name is, I think, his full name is Harold. So that's what it is. 
and uh, it's just short for for that. But I don't even like that name, to be honest with you. Hal, it's like, hmm. it suits the character. I think it's a cool name for the character. Uh, but if I were to name that my son that way, it'd be like, Hal, get over here. I don't know, it just sounds too serious, too mature. And too, I don't know, it's like, there are pretty names for guys that can sound mature. But Hal sounds almost like it's for like this... It sounds perfect for him. It sounds perfect for a space cop. And let's keep it that way. Far Cry Lego says no. I'm calling them Peter uh, Peter Bruce Wade and and Banner. Oh, are we having some interruptions on the stream? I don't think we are now. Uh, if Twitch, I think on Twitch we may have had some sort of interruption. But I think all should be well again. Or maybe it's the Sony Sony executives attacking us already. They're trying to get ahead of the curve. And I'm trying to untangle my headphones, but I will. I don't think it's going to work. Alright, let's watch this. So, the thing you said about... Uh, Peter... Peter Bruce and Wade. Okay, that makes sense. But then calling your child Banner, that's that's the last name. So why would you call your child Banner? It's also like a, a weird name. Banner, you know, it's like, hey, I have this banner on outside. It's like a sign, essentially. Or it could be anything, really. But a banner is an item that you can you can use and hang up. Why would you name your son Banner? That, that'd be, like, weird. But Peter makes sense. Okay, Bruce, Wade, makes sense. My thing is, if I'm going to be naming my child something, I'm definitely not going for, like, a comic book name because I think most of them are kind of lame. Bruce, I like. I like Bruce. Uh, Peter is... That one's fine. I would look at it more from a perspective of St. Peter. Um... Uh, and you said, if I had a boy, I would not want to uh, name him Bruce again. Then just name him something else. You know, it's like, okay, I understand that you want to call him Bruce after. Like, you want to call, you want to name your son Bruce because of Batman. And then you want to look at Hulk and be like, oh, you're going to be, you're going, I can't call you Bruce. Therefore, you have to be Banner. That's, that's some faulty logic, logic right there. That if your son would be named Banner, I don't think he'd like that. Even if you told him, hey, you've been named after the Hulk. And that's the thing. It's like if you tell people, hey, I named you after this fictional character, they would not like that. Like the children of Harry Potter fans who are named after those characters, they despise their parents for naming them after those characters. And they hate that media specifically, partly because of that reason. Name your child Doom Guy. And I think they, they like that more. Okay, I name him Frank. Yeah. I, I'm more into like thinking of like name somebody based off of their like what name sounds pretty, what what name sounds has like a very beautiful quality to it, has a beautiful sound to it. And it's like Bruce Wade, that sounds if I think comic book character, then that's like a wrong direction to take. I think there's a, I would definitely take a different approach to it. Uh, Hoske, if I was white, I would damn sure, sure name my kid Richard. You'd call him Dick? <laughs> I'm just lamb, I'm just destroying everybody's uh, picks for names. Whereas, you know, I'm not giving you guys my names. Because the thing about that is like, I don't want anyone to steal my child on the day of... So basically, Beyond the Spider-Verse, so the third Spider-Verse film was supposed to come out in, like, March, which is ridiculous, because that movie was never going to make that date. I don't know what Sony was smoking. They are so out of touch with how to make animation. But they were going for that release date, and they never made it, so this came out in place of that. They're like, hey, here, have this. Even though this, w this is an old movie, by the way. It's from... 2023 i believe 
So they just made it public for people to see. And yeah, it's it's like six minutes long. And it's about... It's louder than me. What the heck? Sorry. You guys didn't hear me? Oh well. Uh, but uh, yeah, this movie is about Miles Morales dealing with anxiety and panic attacks. Pathetic. I mean, just pathetic. This whole trend in media to have characters go into like this panic attack mode they had joel do that in the last of us tv series joel of all characters had a panic attack who else had one in dragon prince one of like the main bad guys the main antagonist of that show uh the main antagonist of the dragon prince tv show he started having panic attacks because he like died in like at one point and he was revived and it's like this is so corny the corniest thing of all time and of course with miles morales it, it's specifically it's especially it's a special kind of pathetic because everything miles morales does everything he's done in these movies and shows it's only there to appeal to gen z he is i called him in my stories a pick me he is a pick me superhero who is i also called him the ultimate bumper uh bumper car sticker character who is just there to be your servant who who is just kind of like hey i'm i'm supposed to appeal to everyone i'm supposed to i'm the esg score character that's what he is he represents nothing of his own he doesn't represent what it means to be a superhero really because everything about him is so artificial you know it's like okay you have a regular character it would be about what like okay we created this character because we had one a good idea and number two we want to make money because we're going to be selling character uh, we're going to be sell se selling copies of this so those are two things and you could argue that the money thing is a very it's not an ambitious goal to have and it's not it's not uh the best goal to have okay that's that's fair but then with Miles Morales, it's those things. And I don't even think it's the first one. It's not even an attempt to tell a good story. It's more, number one, make money, right? Find ways to make money. And then number two, uh, right, like uh, increase the, the diversity, DEI quotas. Take, take off that agenda. That's number two. Number three, uh, dilute the Spider-Man brand. Make sure that, you know, some of that typical societal uh, normalization of things just, uh, you know, we gotta dilute everything about the stuff that we watch. We gotta de demoralize people and we gotta make everything seem samey and we gotta water down every single brand, milk it till no, till no tomorrow and just make people miserable. And I think that's three... <laughs> And I think you can go with like all the other things. Number four, in this video, this uh, short film is about that. It's try to do like a, hey, how are you doing kids? How are you doing kids sort of uh, approach? That's like the fourth one. And so again, everything about this character is artificial. So, oh, he's being depressed or something because uh, he has to be a superhero. And he is doing poorly at school because of that. Boo-hoo me. Peter had to deal with it. Again, they're taking from that. And again, Peter doesn't own having those duality things. But uh, having a dual life. But like a... Yeah. But uh, them trying to kind of like make it different because of his panic attacks or anxiety. And to build off of that typical nonsense is it's just ridiculous we have a new super chat hello sorry for bothering you okay i guess it's a it's spam on twitch so let's just uh ignore this guy uh hoske hell yeah it'll probably be a biblical name for you I don't know if I'd go for a biblical name. I I would go for something that maybe it would be a biblical name, like for my child. But I I want to I want it to be cool, 
and and I want it to sound like a name that isn't like a very typical name as well. I don't want it to be like Bob. <laughs> I don't want it to be Muhammad. I don't want it to be I don't want it to be uh Juan. <laughs> I I don't want it to be any of that sort of stuff. I need it to be like this very cool name that's not very common to come by. And then there's a lot of names in the Bible that are very common. Like you don't get any more common than Adam and Eve. <laughs> so away from that. And then uh, Far Cry Lego says, since it made sense why... Uh, oh, you said that it worked well in Puss in Boots too. But there you go. There's another one where it's like, oh, Puss in Boots is having panic attacks. And it's, it's kind of lame, not going to lie. It is lame. Even though they found a way to kind of make it work because it's death. It's like, okay, so being scared of death is a panic attack now. And I wouldn't say that it was like a bad thing about that movie. It's just, it's another one that sort of signifies what sort of mindset a lot of people it's like everyone is doing the same thing and it's and in most cases it's lame it's really lame because they're just trying to appeal to the modern mindset of psychology and that whole approach even though it does go against his character from the comic books because he doesn't have that many parents in the comic books his dad is gone ice cream in the freezer oh and miles check by the way do you guys know why he goes by his mother's last name Instead of his father's name. Can anyone explain that? Was that ever explained in the comic books? Because I've read a lot of them. But I don't remember ever. Reading about that in particular. Why is he. Why is he going with his mother's last name? That's what I want to know. Because so? his father's name is. uh, uh Jefferson right? That's his last name. Three scary movies we can watch. Three. Grant. This Whose father. Talks to his son like that. We've got three movies to watch. Three. Let's watch them. Not even not even like the beta the millennial fathers. Like the ones with like the man buns and the glasses. Not even they talk like this. Right? Maybe they do. But again that would kind of tell you where these kind of writers are with these characters. I was going to say they like to turn men into women. But I don't even think women. So he has sleep paralysis now. He has sleep paralysis. Because now we have to add that as well. Which is... I think that's been like coerced by the psycho psychologist... Psychiatrist... Psychi psychi what is it like? Well, how do you say that? Psychiatric uh, community. Uh, they just took over this whole... Hey, um, sleep paralysis, demons. Yeah, that's actually normal. And it's not a demon, it's just sleep paralysis the demon. It's totally fine if you have it. It may be a symptom of X, Y, and Z. It's not it's not actually anything spiritual or anything, but hey, yeah, it's just trying to explain away all this stuff. And and of course this movie did it. It's like, of course. I this was a shock to me at first. I was like surprised that they were doing this direct taking this direction. It was hilarious when I saw it. And it's even funnier now because I just realized that they're trying to play this up like it's just this horror film. It's a it's it's so scary for him and it's so dramatic, the music. It's it's so out of touch with why well, some people are loving this because it's cheap and is definitely manipulative. And it's like every other Spider-Verse film. It's all those things, and yet people love those movies because they don't necessarily understand the characters. They have no respect for the characters either, or the story, or the fact that they, they can't even think that none of it makes any sense. The fact that Miles cannot take down every single and outsmart every single Spider-Man in the multiverse. And then he's able to use the computers within, it, within that base. So that makes no sense. Then the way that they just make fun of the characters, specifically Peter and his legacy with Uncle Ben, how that's been made out into a joke. Like the like the speaking of psychiatrists, the way he's sitting, like there's this whole 
uh, session where one of the Spider-Mans, I'm talking about across the Spider-Verse, of course, where one of them, one of the Spider-Man is just sitting there and just uh, venting and, you know, saying how he, he went over, he went uh, through a lot of trauma and then the psychiatrist who is a Spider-Man says, let me guess, Uncle Ben, and then it's, we're supposed to laugh at that and it's not funny because every single character that's here exists because of Peter Parker because of Uncle Ben and the one thing that they're supposed to be respecting it doesn't even get the respect uh Far Cry Lego I give them this that the official soundtrack and soundtrack for them are pretty good yeah I agree Link up, sync up, uh, and of course, Sunflower, uh, the main theme for Miles Morales from the first film. It's great stuff. Uh, Far Cry Lego. Me, when I see my sleep paralysis demon, yo, want to play some New Vegas or watch some cool stuff? Did you actually have one? And do you actually uh, think that? It's like, I've never had that sort of experience either. I know people who have. And I actually never ask them. I never push them too much on it. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's weird. I would never imagine to have that sort of experience. That was it. That was the whole thing. <laughs> the glitch at the end. I'm sorry. I think there's nothing else after this. So yeah, that was the whole Spider Verse film. All right. Now. That was that was that. So you guys can let me know what you thought about that. While we slowly close it while we slowly close this uh we finish this stream. So yeah. What did you guys think of like the Red Dead Redemption? So far it's a pretty slow beginning, which was to be expected for an open world game. Uh but it's a lot of like I definitely did not appreciate the the cow mission is like, come on, there's got to be better stuff to do in this game than that. And we're getting some errors on YouTube end, like the on YouTube's end. But hopefully that didn't mess with your streams because uh, we're about to finish. Uh, he says uh, the movie was pretty boring or the mission was. Far Cry Lego says, uh, was that pretty boring? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. The movie was pretty boring, I see. For the game, I like it so far, and it got simped. Simped? What got simped? Did you mean to say sniped? Did we get sniped? Hopefully not. Uh, but yeah, the movie. Uh, I gave it like, what, 2 out of 10? Because... The whole premise is just ridiculous. It represents the worst of the character, uh, which ironically represents the character perfectly. So, of course, it's going to get a low score for that. It's like, perfect. Everything I've been accusing this guy of being, it's it's literally in this movie. It's, uh, it's a pick-me. Thank you for proving me right once again. And this stuff just piles on itself. In the Spider-Man game, the new one, he has his death friend who can't talk apparently and he has he's the spider-man he's the knockoff version of spider-man but he's the one who has just the gay missions with the gay characters i think peter has some too but he's just ridden with all that stuff and he is uh he gets the he gets to do the wakanda symbol wakanda forever symbol at the wakandan embassy but Peter can't. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff like that in the games. And with Miles Morales in general. Which is to be expected. His whole character is, has been created based off of identity politics. So you wouldn't expect any different. As for Red Dead Redemption. I'm waiting for it to kind of get going. Like you know, I need it to kick into high gear. And once that happens. I think we'll ha be having like a better time but so far i gotta say it's uh pretty slow i'm surprised by that i'm very much interested to see where john marston 
ends up you no know, in this whole thing he seems like a pretty interesting character i thought he'd be more of like this um stoic guy who is very direct with what he does but he's a pretty friendly guy who who gets shot in the very beginning which you know i never expected to get that going uh i didn't expect to see that just going off of like the box art and from of what i expected it to be and it'd be interesting if there's like any themes getting tackled here because at the beginning i think they were trying to do something they're setting up something and i'm curious to hear where that's gonna go with the message and everything if there's even going to be one which i think there will be and i'm gonna be interested to see if it's going to be a good one or a bad one we'll see we'll see there's a lot to look forward to here and on Mondays, we'll be doing a Doom live stream because we got to do Doom. And we got to go back to that. And then Saturdays, we're going to do Red Dead Redemptions. And yeah. All right. So yeah, we're going to be back to doing live streams and it should be good that way. All right. Uh, in that case, is there anything, if, anything else that I should tell you guys about? I guess not. Hmm. I guess that's it. Uh, always make sure that if you have like a something you want me to react to, a video, because I know sometimes you guys share stuff with me, uh, but it's usually on Instagram and you guys never say it's like, hey, react to this during the stream. I, I can do that during the stream. Just let me know if you want me to. Uh, I would like to. If you have something that's really good. And yeah. That would be it. In that case, thank you for watching, everyone. See you on Monday at the same time. And hopefully you're doing well for the rest of the weekend. For yourselves, of, co of course. Uh, so take care. And hasta la vista, baby.